time to go for Mid-Ohio. And Colette gets the early jump, but there is a big draft going into turn number four, the first turn of the race. Colette in control. He gets through, but not everyone does. Bryce Aaron goes flying, and he brings others with him. That is Jordan Missick in the red and white 21 car, also trying to keep it going through the dirt, and he cannot. Let us see what happened from further back. The leaders get through single file, and then we see a lot of two by two, and we saw Aaron get up in the air. Jack William Miller also went for a ride too. It looked like they went two wide, three wide, four wide maybe. I think Jamie Chadwick might have had some contact further in the middle from the 14 car. She was kind of in the middle there, got squeezed by the 14 of Joss Pearson, bounced into Bryce Aaron, and then everything else cascades from there. We are ready to go again from Mid-Ohio. Kyle Collette looking for win number one, gets a great jump, Louis Foster behind him. Abel, Hedge is right behind Abel. He's gonna maybe have a little look coming into the keyhole. That was a great restart, Kyle Collette leading this field. He's led earlier in this year. Louis Foster, great run out of turn one that time, closes up. Little racing further back, Nolan Aller side by side. It's hard to go the long way around the outside of turn two. Good job giving each other racing room, though. Here is De Alba again, peeking around, trying to go to the outside of Christian Bogle. Bogle maintains it. Solid defense there, Christian Bogle. Knew he didn't have the momentum coming off a of turn two, moves to the inside to defend. Salvador De Alba trying to go the long way around the outside into turn four. Let's see if he can stick it. It is side by side, going into four. Bogle gives him room, maybe just dropping a little bit. They play very nice through that section. De Alba is gonna get it done. Bogle's been doing some nice things this season as the competition can do to get stiffer. He finished seventh and eighth at WeatherTech Raceway Laguna Sake, and he's coming back, and Sunderborn is gonna try to go around the outside too. De Alba gets split, and Sundermore the end. De Alba makes some contact, and there is wing damage for De Alba. Oh, contact the 29 on the 28. We saw wing damage. And that's teammates. That's a great shot to see that damage as it happens. Wing, 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 wing. Radio calling straight away for a front wing. It's Jagger been, Jones takes advantage. It's been tough sledding for James Rowe. And he gets up on the curb and that throws the front of the car out in into the right rear of Jamie Chadwick. Christian Bogle just running wide. That's up in the keyhole, locked up under braking. This is a great day for Kyle Collette. Just started up front, track record, disappeared. He's over six seconds to the good in front of Louis Foster, who's still your championship leader. We said he had to win today to stay in the championship, and so far he's done exactly what he needed to. Now Foster did not have to win. Uh, he came in today plus 35, so he's even going to expand on that championship lead. Colette, though, keeps his hopes alive, and he's now down to a couple of corners to go for what might be a breakthrough for him. He's 22 years old from Sao Paulo. Could he be the next Brazilian IndyCar driver? Kyle Collette is going to win for the first time in Indy Next by Firestone. First win in America, Kyle Collette wins at Mid-Ohio. Louis Foster extending that championship lead in second, but Kyle Collette, the paddock, knew he was a race winner. Today, he proved it. No, for sure it is my first win. I think we couldn't have asked for a better weekend. Uh, we led every session and uh, pole position, fastest lap. I mean, I think the car was was great since uh, since Friday. The first lap, I already felt really, really good, and uh, we managed to put the weekend together. And I'm really, really happy. And yeah, thanks for um, all the HMD crew. They did an outstanding job with me. Watch Indy Next by Firestone at Iowa Speedway, Saturday, July 13th on Peacock.